Okay, I couldn't pass a um, couple segments of Kevin's Corner up um, today, so I'm going to share a little bit. It's an hour-long program, so I just took a few minutes of a couple segments. Uh, I'll try to shorten uh, the first one as much as I can, <clears throat> but uh, just to let you know what's going on. How ridiculous some of this stuff is, especially this charge of systemic racism and things like that. But also, there's a little segment of uh, Kamala Harris it does, and I thought it was really funny. So anyway, uh, let me start it up here. America we woman, woman let me be. They're not stupid. They think we are, though. Because see, the left wants you and I to hate each other. What? They want black folks and white folks not only to not get along, but to despise and fear one another. They want minorities to feel oppressed by everything under the sun, and they want white people to feel guilty about it, or to get sick of it and lash out. They want division. Take this Denver Elementary School, for example, just got caught this week with a sign right out front advertising a families of color only playground event. On that one, guys, I got to, hold on, I got to take a, a sit back break right now with my, my American pain scene. Thank you. Okay, and I'm back. So, if I'm getting this straight, Center, what is Sentinel Elementary, Family of Color Playground Night. Who came up with this? Who is the person that said, you know, it'd be a good idea to show our diversity? You know how we can show the community that we're sensitive to all of this racism and discrimination? By discriminating. By making people of color night. This is your night, black folks. Only people of color can come out and play. The rest of you white folks, you get your own time. You can pick and choose whenever you want to go. It's open at all times for you. But we got a designated time for the group of black families to come out so they can have fun. Right here. So somebody said, I'm buffering. Let me get off the wiki. Okay, let's there we go, and I'm back. Try to disconnect my, my, you why I got it. Anyway, so some person, and I guarantee it was some liberal, probably a white liberal, for some reason they miscalculate all the time what black people are thinking and want, thinking that they are partnering up with us. First things first, what can I say about this? Families of color, how about colored families? I mean, you're just one reversal of a word away from calling them colored families. You flip that mess and you think we can't catch the difference? So your mom's will just say, uh, color family uh, night at the playground. So they got family of colors playground night. Now imagine you reverse that. White families playground night. How are you ever going to overcome racism? How are you ever going to, you know, strive for equality? Nobody was walking around thinking about segregation on playgrounds. This wasn't an issue. I've in other words, this is um, basically a, a no whites allowed night uh, on the playground. But uh, let's fast forward to the other segment I was uh, looking at. Uh, give me just a minute to find it here. It went too far, I think. That's what they would do. They would sit back and ask uh, their brain, how should I evaluate what she said? It sounds smart. It makes sense. We shouldn't be dividing. Here's the, we should uh, be trying to get together. I don't see all of this racism that they're talking about. But you know what? I'm going to hang on to this narrative. You know what you are? That's that's the bad part of it, man. Beautiful knowledge dropping all over the place. And folks will take that and flip that somehow and say that she's a part of the problem. Now, with that being said, thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Let's move on because she started off with CNN, which is a segue back into what Tucker was talking about last night, which is how CNN is trying to set it up for the next person to run against whoever runs in uh, 2024. So let's see who they pick. Because right now he's still talking about commuting Kamala Harris and why nobody digs her. No. Oh. Oh. Value of educators when they had to bring kids. Is she <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. She got that mixed between a witch cackle and that jolly lab. <laughs> but yet, <laughs> it's a hot mix. I get you, my pretty. And Professor Clark. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not like 800 pounds and just jolly. <laughs> Let's hear this mess. It's driving me nuts. 
live. It actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, and the dude across from us trying to tolerate that mess. That dude across from us. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I better not say nothing funny again. This woman right here might kill me. I might die of laughing and not my own. She might kill me with that laugh. You want somebody to talk, stick her in the room, and have her go into that. <laughs> After a while, you'll be like, all right, man, whatever you want. I'll tell you. Whatever. My mama and them, they, they got the money hidden under their bed. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> What's up? And I looked back up at her and I said, we go. <laughs> So Kamala Harris is a charmless phony who has such total and utter contempt for your intelligence that she fully expects you to believe that her fake laugh is real. And that's bad, but honestly... Okay, that's, a, that's just a segment, couple segments out of uh, Kevin's Corner. I've enjoyed.